think the biggest culture shock that I had um, going back to my family's homeland, uh, my dad's family is from a very small village in Palestine. And, um, you know, everybody lives in the same house all together. The mom, the dad, their sons, their daughter, all well, their daughters move out typically, but everybody's in this five or six story building and everybody's sharing this one house. And I happen to be in a house where 20 of us were sharing the home and we had one bathroom. And um, I remember going to take a shower and I was like seven or eight in line. And there was essentially no more water left <laughs> by the time it was my turn to take a shower. And somebody had to go to the well and bring the water back to the house and heat it. And then it had to run through the pipes. And then eventually I came to the shower and it was like spitting out water. And I, it was just something that I didn't realize wasn't accessible the way it is here in America to everyone. Um, you know, you want water, you turn on the faucet or you, you turn on the sink and you want to take a shower, you take a shower at all hours of the night. There's no going to a well to bring water back to your house. And so I think that was my first real culture shock and my first real acknowledgement of, of my privilege of living here um, and things that I take for granted.